Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and today we are kicking off some Anno 1800 gameplay. I've been waiting for this game for so very long, it's been on my most anticipated lists for a while now, and I'm finally able to dive into this closed beta. First things first, a massive thanks goes out to Ubisoft and Bluebyte for giving me early access to this closed beta so that I can dive into it and uh, you know give it some coverage sooner rather than later. Now with no time to waste and even less patience, let's kick things off. Uh, we're going to play this with uh, more guidance, I think. I'm really thinking of this like mini Let's Play as an opportunity to see as much of the game as possible. So we, let's not miss anything. Let's go with more guidance. And uh, what I'm actually hoping to do is record a lot of episodes back to back so that I can keep releasing them well after this closed beta is actually done, which is at the end of this weekend. It's a pretty short beta period. Uh, so that, that's the thinking right now. Back-to-back -back re uh, recordings, and then maybe I'll release them on a daily basis or every other day. Uh, if you want to see more Anno 1800, let me know by dropping a like and a comment on this video. We're going to play as this guy, because look at him. I mean, it's it's like looking into a mirror. I, that's how I dress. I got a monocle. This is, this is me. So we're going to go in as that guy, and uh, let's look for a suitable logo here. Something uh, appropriate, like party, party appropriate, you know? Uh, like a ship, party on a ship, party on a boat, uh, party every day, every night, uh, ooh, hot air balloon party, yeah, that, yeah, sure, let's go with that, going with the yellow, you know, we don't have the red, unfortunately, but the yellow will do, and for our name, I know exactly what I want to be, because I'm going to be the, you know, the president of Arty Unlimited, bam, so happy with that, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to. Unfortunately, periods don't get put in, but uh, you know what this stands for. You know what that stands for. Now, difficulty, I think we're just going to go in with normal again. I want to showcase as much of this game as possible. So we're going to go in as normal difficulty, and just as a reminder as we dive in, this is a beta build, so there will be some visual glitches, some of the numbers might be off, there will be some issues here and there. Keep that in mind as we play, uh, but I am very excited to dive in. And again, you need to let me know if you'd like to see more of the game. I will happily provide. I'm the observer, my friend. When there is more than meets the eye, I will let you know. Whoa. <laughs> that uh, uh, said in a, in a slightly creepy way. All right, let's see. We've got uh, clay deposit over here, some clay deposits over here as well. They'll, they'll be pretty important in the uh, early game. We've got some iron deposits over here. A very industrial zone, this corner over here. Some iron over here as Every well. Every settlement needs a market. The people want a place for supplies. Yeah, okay. Provide it. Sure. Sure, Hannah. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in a bit. One second. Let's just take a look at, at what we've got here. We've got a lot of oil fields over here. We've got some more clay deposits. Um, let's see. Limestone, iron, uh, and I believe I saw more clay down here. Okay, well, this is our starting point. Let's go ahead and... Oh, this, is a, this ridge is right in the middle of everything. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and build a city center over here, though. We'll expand towards this direction so that we can capitalize on all this industrial you know, resources, on all these industrial resources, I should say. And maybe we'll look to make this our, like, farmlands. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and check, first of all, how big the market actually is. All right, I see. Again, grids are, like... <laughs> Anno is the home of the grid, basically. So I'm going to try and make everything as neat and tidy as possible. Uh, but you can imagine every once in a while, you can expect, rather, we're going to... Uh, Call it break the rules break the rules let's call it that we have the clay deposit over here i'd want one cross to happen here all right so let's go ahead and uh double check that sorry oh that's too high i want to make sure that it's going to line up when it comes time to build on these clay deposits again try to keep these as lined up as possible okay cool so there and there and then we're gonna get the marketplace in the middle over here yep let's get the marketplace down over here like so and then I can use that as a bit of a guide for construction. Go ahead and place you like this. All right, cool. We're going to make our way down this way as soon as possible to get uh, take advantage of the clay. There's clay down here as well, right? So lots of clay. Lots of clay. We need eight residences, so let's go ahead and get some of these done here. Mm, start by putting them down. You reached a new milestone. I really like that, actually. It's a very subtle animation. The, the voice was really nice as well. That was nice. Not overbearing. The right wall fell on her. Nothing could be done. Oh god, someone died because of drywall. <laughs> what? Um, Alright, let's see. So, 
We are a curious settlement here. Arrived. Now to see if the journey was worth it. Oh, this is for tourism, I guess. So culture here, we are <laughs> we are very uncultured, so no attractiveness from that. Nature, our countryside is glorious, and no festivities. That does not sound fitting for uh, for a party unlimited. Vulgarity, <laughs> pollution, and I instability are negatives. Wow, Hannah. What a motivator you are. What a motivator you are. We've got 14 farmers here. All right, good stuff. We're probably going to need to start building some uh, goods soon. And we do have our flagship here. If I could select it. Hi, hi. Earl of Sandwich. Really? Can we... Re oh, we can rename it. Ooh, what should we call this? What shall we call this ship? I'm sure there's going to be some good suggestions down below. Let me know. The settlement is rather small. You will have to attract more farmers if you want to make progress. Okay, fair enough. How do we do that? Um, so we aren't able to build fisheries just oh, yet. We barrier. need more people. We've got one, two, three, four. Oh, right, we put down eight, right? So if they all fill up, we should have 80. I guess it's just a matter of time because we've got the one thing that they want, which is a market. So that'll fill up over time. Let's go ahead and New send orders. our flagship around. Oh, I really like how the, uh, the waypoint is like a little boy. Boy, buoy, boy, buoy. Ooh, and the reflection graphics are really nice as well. And look at the Stay wake left. being left behind. And this game on our way. is beautiful. Now we're, we're, we're going against the wind. You can see the wind direction on the uh, UI there. Sail. So I want to see how much of a difference it makes when we turn around and go back. Stay Sorry, being completely distracted by like useless things. I, I swear I'm going to speed up the gameplay here. Oh yeah, that's a lot faster. Man, what, what a beautiful wake. <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm impressed by the simplest things sometimes. Let's speed things up a little bit. I don't want to over-construct. We have limited timber, so we don't want to overdo things, right? I want to make sure we get our production chain for timber up and running sooner rather than later. Maybe maybe I, maybe I get that set up. We've got a lot of workers, so let's see. If I get a lumberjack hut down... Oh, interesting. So this... The base wood production is 15 seconds for wood. Right, we want to be out a little bit. Hmm, maybe we line up with this, right? So let's go ahead and put you down. Well, let's let's go ahead and put this road down first, I suppose. Not too expensive. So, okay, we've got that. Go ahead and get our production happening. Ah, oh, interesting. Let's put you over here, then. I'd like things to be a bit more convenient in terms of placement. Again, trying to stay loyal to the grid as much as possible. Go put you down there. All right, so this will be 100%. I think that's a safe spot for it. We can expand down further over time, and then we'll have another clay deposit and iron over here. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's put you down over here, and let's get the sawmill down. So this will also take 15 seconds. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio then. All right, fair enough. And this will keep us just outside of its reach. How big is a small warehouse? Better doing this by hand. Hmm. Wondering if... Let's put the warehouse on this side, so everything will collect over here. And let's go ahead and get the sawmill. Storage is shared across all warehouses. Once goods have been delivered to a warehouse, they become accessible to the whole island. Thank you, Hannah. I don't the like your tone. Are hungry. You'll have to supply them with the necessary, starting with gotcha. fish. Okay, well, we'll get on that. Let's get this, uh... This is a bit of a sandbox mode, so I, I feel alright with, um... Kind of going freely as I wish. Uh, let's go ahead and put you down... Like this, I think. Go ahead and do that. We've got enough uh, of a workforce to deal with this, but first... Or, but now, I should say, let's get this fishery built here. Um... So I can put it down about anywhere. Ooh... I like how that attaches. That's actually really nice. Nice little modular uh, construction there. Let's put it over here because then we can get this coastline first. It's relatively straight, so let's get this down over here. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And we'll go ahead and get the road, make sure you're accessible. Put it down like that. There we go. Rare for promises to be kept. Thank you. I keep all my promises. Thank you very much. Now, what's going on over here? That was a red ticker. Oh, we're okay. Our productivity is getting higher. You're good over here. And I do like that we can see the uh, the marker here that shows what's connected to what. And this should be connected. To, there we go. 
the warehouse. Cool. So you're going and taking the timber over, and if I'm not mistaken, actually, I thought I saw. Flagship at your service. Yes, yeah, so my flagship does have timber. Our settlement is rather small. You will have to attract more farmers if you want to make progress. Okay, sure. Up to a hundred. So our eight. This is the way the farm is right. I have eight hoy, each. This is the way the but we have eight. We have right. eighty. Hobbledy, hobbledy, so I just want to build what two. Go ahead and get some uh, farmers' residences. I love this contextual menu, by the way. Right click, and you can. Uh, have easy access to stuff. Obviously, it's limited. I guess it's stuff uh, for immediate use. Oh, and you can lock it in play. Oh, okay, interesting. Sorry. Residence. So we've got 8, 9, 10. And if they fill up, then we'll be at 100. Again, trying to keep uh, keep things at a reasonable rate here. Let's not grow too fast. Now, look at that. Look Please at that. Look at the hustle unattended, sir. and bustle. Seeing all the preview builds and stuff of this game, this is probably one of my favorite aspects of it. These cities feel like they're alive, you know? Like, look at that. Look, this market has people, and the, uh, the, 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 the sound, right? The, the hustle and bustle, again, of the city. You can hear people we rummaging like through stuff, walking around, talking about naps in the orchard, apparently. I mean, be my guest. All right, so we've got wood coming, right? We've got timber production happening. We've got fish coming in. What's this? Schnaps. Schnaps? Schnaps. Not 100% sure, I'm not gonna lie. But we gotta get to 100 farmers before we unlock that. Fair enough. Fair enough. What, what about what we do here? Let's go ahead and get that timber off. Your vessel shall be subject oh. to attention for the admiral. What's that? Oh, okay, I see. So do we just kind of drag it over like so? Yeah, there we go. And that's our storage capacity, I guess, on the uh, on the yard here. Cool. Cool. Well, let's go ahead. Awaiting instructions. I don't think I need the steel beams or what is this? Or the weapons on here just yet. Let's uh, let's go exploring. Go see what this uh, beautiful world holds for us. Because this island is pretty small, actually, if you look at it. It's a pretty tightly packed island. There's lots of mountain ranges and stuff. Pretty pretty close quarters, actually. Game save. Right, I think what we want to do is speed time up a little bit. Go ahead and do that as our uh, well, as more yeah, farmers arrive. I could just put down a bunch of. Uh, housing because people arrive uh people oh, that one person immediately populates a, a house looks like so why not I do, why don't we get a small warehouse get some rest down it's over going here to be a long voyage for the fish right because otherwise where does all the fish go oh they store the fish here so I says, okay your feet and that's not bad we can store 75 work. fish and, and hopefully it's getting what distributed by the marketplace yeah okay cool but it doesn't actually have to be moved down there. All right, very cool, very cool. Just trying to familiarize myself with all the systems and how everything comes together. If you guys are super familiar with the Anno games, uh, feel free to let me know if I'm missing anything or if you've seen something somewhere else and you want to share that information with me. Uh, I'm always open to you know ideas, name suggestions. We can also rename our, our curious settlement. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and, and, and keep it coming, right? Like I'm always a fan of was a fan of uh, idea sharing. And I just want to mention, I think I mentioned this earlier as well, but uh, if you would like to see more Anno on this channel, the best way to ensure that is by uh, dropping a like and a comment I down below. Please, I am curious about your otherworldly customs. Princess Ching. Alapa is your little uh, village here. Wow, that is a lot bigger than mine. Maybe I should do maybe I should pick up the pace a little bit, guys. Not about to be outdone. Let's go ahead and pick up the pace. Let's get let's get the ship back over here. And I can actually speak to them, it seems. Princess Ching. Our military is about equivalent. Your economy is a bit better than mine. It's literally twice as good as mine. Uh, we can flatter, insult, offer gift. Ask for a quest. Interesting. Interesting. And then treaties, request trade rights, success, <laughs> chance of success is zero. Hmm. Request non-aggression pact, or declare war. A little too early to go declaring war, I think. Um, but we'll leave that for later. We'll leave that for later. We're at 80. Let's go ahead and build some more housing. Just to accelerate our growth a little bit, why not? There we go. There we go. And again, we want to use this as like farmland and stuff. So let's uh, expand this way as well. We are making timber, so I'm not too worried about the rate of that happening. 
And I think, uh, you know what, this is gonna bother me if I don't do this right now. So let's go ahead and get this crossroads done. And this crossroads done. And let's, uh, fill it up. You reached a new milestone. We are now a village. Happiness is impacted by many factors, like access to luxury goods. You can check these factors in the residence menu. Okay. Okay, so if I go into the residence I and I check out... I appreciate your help, however overdue. God damn, man. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, luxury. Luxury is causing... The lack of luxury goods, rather, is causing unhappiness. So maybe we should get some schnapps happening. Ooh, or maybe we should get a pub. We can't make a pub because we don't have enough people. That's okay, we'll get there. Uh, work clothes. Your people need new clothes. Need sheep farms. Okay, so a sheep farm is here, and that'll take us to a framework knitter. And it takes how 30 seconds, so it's another one-to-one -one relationship between these two. Let's see, sheep farm. Put you out where? How far do we want to go with this? Let's maybe... Let's not go too far, but I do want room to expand the city here. We can go up that way as well, and up this way. So let's go ahead and put the, the sheep farm some road down first put the sheep farm like way out over here so we have some room to grow around this uh hill if you will um oh or i could just put down a pub in a bit let's let's do a little bit of everything right let's get the goods happening as well so the, the sheep farm here need somewhere to drown their sorrows a pub will fill this town yeah. with laughter uh, I'm working on it I agree. I, I too wish to have a pub as soon as possible. Relax, I'll get there. <laughs> Alright, so sheep farm, let's put you down over here. Because we'll need to put down the knitters as well, right? We'll put them maybe across the way. So let's get a sheep farm over here. And then we can put down the sheep fold. Wait, how many? Three. The one, two, three. There we go. And maybe we put down another one? Nah. Stick to the one-to-one -one right now. Uh, put you down over here, and then we'll need a warehouse in the area Game as well. So let's go ahead and put you down over here. And let's get our warehouse, small warehouse, built like so. So this should take things there, and that should take things here. It'll probably take some time. Risk of fires is increasing. That's not so good. Put a fire station down. Maybe we put one down closer to this area. I feel like... I feel like this is where the fire is likely. Wow, we'll need a couple of fire stations to cover the whole town. How much does it cost? Or timber. Oh, we're making timber quickly enough. Sure, let's put... Uh, let's put one down over here. I want to leave a gap for a road so that if we want quick access to go up that way. We've got our fire station. And I wonder if we put another one down over here like so cover all of our houses before people burn down and die and let's sure. face it that Best way shall we go, yeah let's face it that way cool and then we want to get our pub happening go ahead and put the pub down um on which side go ahead and put the pub down on this side i think like so get no like so rest. Like it's so. Going to be a long voyage. Sorry, just trying to find what looks nicest, I suppose. This looks nice too. Got a little gazebo out there nice. and everything. Let's do that. Yo, these guys know how to party, man. Look at that. We've got a live marching band. <laughs> We've got two live bands. Dude dancing on a table here. Yeah, these guys know what's up. <laughs> these guys know what's up. Again, I, I just love how alive. The city actually feels like a little child with a balloon lighting. going into the pub. Love it. And it looks like we're actually ready for some upgrades. Shall we upgrade and unlock workers? And we can start doing some more advanced things. I suppose there's no reason not to. We've got a huge surplus of farmer workforce. Um, we have prepared everything. Now well, there it is. Time to advance by settling the first workers. There's the quest for it. For sample, sir? Yeah, let's start from the center out, I suppose. Let's go ahead and promote you. Or upgrade, you sorry. Reached a new milestone. And you want sausages. Okay. Age of industrialization. You just want some sausages. Okay, let's get that organized. Each production Eldest, building requires a specific type of workforce. Yourself. 
house enough of each to keep our industries running. All right, well, our workers make sausages. All right. Oh, and clay and bricks. Okay, so let's go ahead and do sausages first. Let's keep people happy. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I want to make sausages first. We can get a pig farm right next to our sheep farm, I suppose. Um, put the pig farm over here, maybe, so we can get a road down this way. Let's put the road down first. Oh, and what's this? Paved street. We have access to paved streets now. Well, cool. let's get this down first. So I can put more sheep farms over here if I want or need to. All right, we'll get the uh, pig farm down over here. And I can only assume it's got the same kind of approach as uh, the sheep farm. It's a bit bigger, though. The footprint's a little bit larger. Then put you down. All right, and... Uh, oh, five. Okay, so... One, two... Three. Oh no, what's this? The hell is that? It rotates, okay. Thankfully, I'm playing on the easiest mode, so I actually get refunds and stuff. So that works kind of nicely. Okay, so one, two. Oh, damn it. Why would you rotate automatically? Sorry. I'm obviously going to be very picky about placement here. Everything's about the grid, right? So one, two. Three. Four. This is, this is not going to be perfect in any way, is it? Fine. Have it your way, game. Have it your way. Three, four, five. We'll leave a little gap here. We'll put down some trees or something. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. And let's get a slaughterhouse down as well uh, to actually make the sausages. So a minute for the pigs and a minute for the sausages. So also a one-to-one -one relationship. The slaughterhouse, unfortunately, cannot fit over here. Game saved. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Oh, we actually... Oh, we need... Ah, I see. Should have listened to the advice. We need bricks for the slaughterhouse. So let's go ahead and work on the clay pit. That takes a lot of workers, so I'll have to do some upgrading. Go ahead and put you down over here. And one clay pit takes 30 seconds. And a brick factory takes a minute to make bricks. So we could do two brick factories to one clay pit, I think. Or is it the other way around? No. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. It's not the other way around. So, yeah. So, one clay pit. And we'll put the factories down over here. Or up over here. How big are you? Could put them up this way. Sure. Let's go ahead and get the clay pit. And the brick factory can be here and here. Let's go ahead and get our road down. And I feel like we'll want a fire uh, station over here as well. Just to make sure that we don't have any trouble here. Put you over here, I suppose. A check copy? A check copy. The editor announces the latest edition of the newspaper. Sure, let's uh let's review it real quick. To meet our patron is utterly humbling. If there is anything I can do, anything really, imagine it, and we can do it. Excuse me. I am not okay with this. The new company takes root. Party Unlimited settles first island. Hopes abound that this seed will germinate into a great leafy tree. Bows, he bows, bows, buffs, heavy with golden fruit. In historic edition, we pr profile company pioneer and enjoy the positivity. Who knows if we shall see its like again. Okay, and then you're yelling about a schnapps shortage and bankruptcy. How about no? How about instead we talk about how, um, ooh, extra tax income. But it costs influence. Well, okay, we, well, first of all, distraction propaganda. Down over here. It's a different perspective. Yeah, it is a different per Exactly. Just a different perspective. Now, are you a genius? Only people with a high opinion of themselves can answer these extremely impossible questions. <laughs> what is this? Facebook and tax income buff. I like the sound of that. We're all already getting plus five happiness from the real news. <laughs> so let's get the tax income buff. Of course. You know what's best. Spend, spend, spend. Buying things makes us happy, so buy now and avoid disappointing your spouse later. Who knows? Service. You may have an accident tomorrow, but so spend as if it's your last burst. day on earth. My report was far too colorful to publish. 
Yeah, let's publish that. Let's go with this instead. This is a much better version of the uh, the newspaper. Anno Anything else? Then I'll send it out. Oh, well, people don't need to know the reality, right? Let's go ahead and set the speed to regular. I completely forgot that I'm playing on double speed for so long. That probably affected us a fair bit because uh, I was meaning to get the schnapps, 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 schnapps. <laughs> happening a lot sooner and we need a lot more workers so let's go ahead and upgrade Flitz pickets healthy on his protest if some silver spoon stiffs want to deny us that we'll take them shiny spoons and shove them. uh please don't <laughs> honest work That's much rather ask. you don't let's see if i go about with the upgrade button ah there we go that makes it a lot faster so one perhaps there there is one Ooh, what's this? Sorry. Didn't even get a chance to read that fully. I just saw that our influence with them improve or something. Oh, right, well, let's get this done. And I'm actually going to wait a little bit uh, because these houses have more space. So I can wait for these to fill out before we use up too much of our farmer workforce. Because, of course, as you upgrade the farmer uh, housing, we lose farmer workforce because only farmers, like farmers only live in farmer housing. Um, so, schnapps. We need a potato farm. Okay, so we're over to this side. And we need a schnapps distillery. So that's also a one-to-one -one relationship. Let's get a potato farm down over where. I feel like we should expand a little bit. Go a little bit further out. Like, keep the livestock here and then keep our crop further out. Let's try that. Let's do that. All right, let's put that down over there. Looking pretty good. And, um... The schnapps itself, I'll, I'll still want to store in this warehouse. So let's get the distillery. Uh, that's the problem with distance, right? As you get farther away from these warehouses, you're kind of wasting time with production. Chris, but good let's try. Morning. Try. Let's get the uh, potato farm down on this side. All like the actual farms are on this side so far. So let's keep that pattern alive. 72. Oh, that's a lot bigger. Okay. 72. Game so let's see if we can fit this nicely. The land can only 72. be farmed if there are enough fields. We must plant them. The wonky. Okay, let's see. You are three by three, so you're nine. Eighty. Oh no, that's a weird number. How do you? How do you? How do we go about this? Let's see. If we pull like so. I want to try and keep a nice shape here. That's 42, 49. Put that down first. Yeah, for promises to be kept. Thank you. 71. Where does my 72nd piece go? Damn it. Oh. That's aggravating. Um. Oh my god, that's gonna eat me alive do I just leave it no because then we're not gonna have maximum like efficiency so we'll put you down over here Ooh, should hide my overlays from popping up but actually on that point I should mention I was gonna mention this at one point uh, and that was a helpful reminder so uh, I, I ended up getting early access for this game from Ubisoft and Blue Byte but before I had that and I'm gonna have a link in the description below for this but before I had that early access, uh, the person you just saw log in gave me uh, one of the beta keys that he got through um, Anno Union. Because uh, he got beta access through Anno Union and he had three to give away, so he gave one to me. And he's actually a YouTuber as well. So it's going to have a link in the description so that you can check his channel out because he's going to be covering Anno as well. So if you want to see another perspective of the game, uh, do check him out. Great guy. I've actually met him in person as well. Fantastic individual. And, uh, I mean, what a, what a nice thing to offer, right? So, please don't hesitate to check them out. Again, link will be in the description down below. And if I can tuck it under the eye at the top right corner of the screen, it will be there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and put the schnapps distillery on this side. Right, keep it right across here. That's not too far to go. Sure, let's do that. So that will hopefully keep people even happier. Our worker workforce is not coming in quickly she enough. Bunions, oh, because we need people. sausages. Where's so our slaughterhouse? Keep your feet in health or you can't work. And your six little mouths will go hungry. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm getting the sausages. Where are we? 
Oh, right, because we needed the uh, the bricks for it. We still need two more bricks. Okay, we'll get there soon enough. We'll get there soon enough. And our farmer workforce is a bit low as well. Could be worse. We actually need to build more. Farmer residences, I mean. Let's go ahead and put one down here, one down here. Here and here. What's this? A quest is available. Oh, he just built merrier. over top of this quest. You can still see the balloons hanging out, though. All right, what do you what do you have for me? Quest available. These are good times. Could they be even better? I wish you'd read this out. Hey, Gov, I've this drill for me late uncle just laying around the house. Thought you might find some use for it. Go ahead, take it. Oh, I think I will. Drill, unusual, equipped in trade union. It affects quarries and oil wells. Production buff and maintenance buff. Sure. Be it from us to make the foreman work. Oh, there's the gift. Not bad for a big boss. I don't know if that's genuine appreciation or not, but thank you. I have discovered some Unionize. inefficiencies we ought to address. Unionize? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> no, no, we, we want to keep it this way. We want to keep it this way. <laughs> you filled up. You filled up. You're going to fill up. Oh no, okay, these are the new ones. So we've got 8 times 3 slots available, that's 24 slots. We'll still need some more. Oh, okay, we've got 8 times 4. Okay, cool. So hopefully those will fill up quickly enough. They want me making a trade union. You can equip items at the trade union that'll affect every production building in its range in, every, in very interesting ways. Okay, got it, got it. So basically, I'll want to put a trade union down, like, here, or when we eventually get to oil fields, we'll want one here to equip it with the drill or whatever it is we just got and then increase our efficiency there okay interesting 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 now these yeah right these aren't filling we've got enough bricks though so let's get the slaughterhouse done first i'll deal with that later it is the quest but i'll deal with it later let's get the population happy shall we mm, let's maybe put you down over here i don't want to like move too far this way right so yeah let's go ahead and put you down over here Like so works for me. Looks a little awkward. Let's do like so instead. And we'll put down a road. Excellent. So we should be getting uh, sausages out now. What else have we got? We've got a fire station here. We've got a fire station here. And we've got a fire station here. We've put down our glorious pub. Well, you know what? Let's, let's, how about, how about we get some ornaments in here? Fully grown trees, we've got bushes, ah, grass. This, boy, he smells gertlush. Mm, this might be a nice place for some trees. Until we have access to some nicer types of uh, ornamentation. There we go. Come back here, there's a nice, like, you know, sample, sir? patio perhaps. Is there a gazebo back here? Oh, the gazebo's over here. Yeah, there's a little patio area. Where's the merrier? Some nice shade, you don't really need that umbrella open at all times. There we go, sure. Putting I want to be more attractive. Out of the door was the best decision I've ever made. 97 more attractiveness needed. Hopefully we'll have access to some things that'll actually help us do that. Hmm, small harbor. Oh, we don't have enough workers for this. Fair enough. <laughs> don't even mind Fair enough. Let's see. Sausage is not coming through just yet. How are we doing over here? So we've got our pig that farm. Change things, I'll grant you. Yep, but pig farm is better, going... Or for worse. The slaughterhouse, and what's going on here? Attractiveness reduction. Oh, that's fine. You're a, I mean, yeah, you're a, you're a pig farm. What do you expect? Um, okay, so the pigs are coming through here. There Insufficient workers, though. You know what? Let's go ahead and get some more um, farmer workforce. That is really going to hurt our efficiency. Otherwise, let's go one, two, three, four, and go ahead and put down... I'm trying to learn shortcut keys for this game. That blooming turnip was the size of our head. Nice little blocks. Very, very gridded construction. Home of the grid, Anno. Home of the grid. Oh, this does look nice, actually. I like that. I like that quite a bit, actually. And this is neat to see as well. Got the firehouse. What is this? Fire probability. Ooh, Low. Seen her face. Mm, always a chance of fire. Areas with high density or high building density are more likely to suffer fire. Fire stations reduce the chance of fire. Okay. So does each one analyze its own space? I suppose so. Yeah, it looks different. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool. How are we doing? 
Farmer workforce is coming through. Breath We're gonna have air, a surplus now. Yeah, it's slowly, slowly the changing. See another biscuit. We will have a surplus, and then uh, the worker workforce will hopefully start getting we happy about the presence of sausages. Come on. That's just we're we're inefficient it's right a now. Surprise inspection. Yeah, we're working really slowly because these guys need workers. We are missing the workforce. Catch-22. Like, do I just upgrade some of these? I guess I could. You know, speed past that current issue. And a trade union costs how much? Five bricks, 25 timber. Oh, we'll be good with that. Hmm. It's a little... A little silly putting the, uh... The drill in this small radius. You know what I mean? But I guess we don't really have much of a choice unless we want to build all the way out to here right now and put it down somewhere over here. We could do get two more clay pits happening, get a lot more bricks being manufactured. You know what? We could do with some faster brick manufacturing, but then we need we'll need to upgrade a lot more of these. Fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and, and kind of explode here. Oh, of course you're just around the corner. Let's go ahead and do... Well, let's do this first. Right? And can we tell me... Oh, goddamn, of course. Okay, so let's do that. And that. We'll get ourselves our... Play pits. And hopefully the union can cover both... Both of these. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and get our... Clay pit number one and number two. Don't worry, we'll, we'll do the upgrades necessary. Does the fire station cover this? It does not. So, we're going to need... We can get four of these, eh? Might as well put them all down here. Mm. Or I could put them down this way. We'll want to have some production abilities for coal and iron in this area as well. So I just don't want to crowd this with unrelated stuff, basically. But, okay, let's go. One, two, three, and four. Didn't want to interrupt my uh, lumberjack's hut either. All right, so this is all working over here. Let's go ahead and get another fire station down here. Or... Yeah, let's get it down over here so it's covering this part of the road. We'll be making bricks a lot faster as soon as we get some of these upgrades done. So let's go ahead and get some upgrades done. We can put down some more farmer residences afterwards. Promotion not possible. Why not? Oh, because you're not full. Okay, well, most of these houses can be promoted. Let's go ahead and keep that up. A new milestone. And now we're out of uh, timber. All right, well, that's fine. We are now a port town, a curious port town. I guess it's because of our worker count. Fair enough. I can't believe I did all this just so that I can put down a more efficient trade union, but I need to put it down like over here. And he's 25 timber, so we're going to have to wait a little bit before we can complete this quest. We're going to have a lot of bricks, though. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of bricks, though. There's that. With the timber coming. Insufficient workforce, so we'll need to go ahead and build some more... Oops, no, I meant more farmer residences. These should fill up pretty quickly, I think. We've got workers arriving as well, because we finally have access to sausages, so... Yeah, you can see that's starting to fill up. That's nice. How many of these do we have? We have uh, four, seven, eleven... 14. 14 times 20 is... 200... No, wait, hold on. 14 times 20. My basket Damn. Is flowing over. What? Yeah, if this fills up, we'll be great. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we should speed time up a little bit, let these houses fill up, put down a church. No, I don't have the resources needed for it. And I'd rather get two more houses down first. One and two. 
There we go, that's all of our timber, but that should be enough to house all the happy farmers and more. And yes, I put the happy in there intentionally. And then once we have enough of that, then we should be working efficiently with the uh, lumber and stuff. They should all speed up again. This requires workers, so we really need to get the worker workforce up. Kind of overdid it here. Kind of overdid it here pointlessly. Like a fool. Like an eager fool, but a fool nonetheless. Speed time up, see how that uh, workforce changes. Yeah, we got room. And hopefully these will fill up as well. I can't imagine it'll take too long. We've got supplies of everything we need, so it's just a matter of time. You know what I could do is I could send my flagship New orders? exploring some more. Might as well. We don't need any of these things right now. Assign patrol routes. Order your ship to move to another session? No, I'm okay. I'm going around this way. Eh? Fair enough. Whatever's easier. Computer knows best, right? Computer knows best. Be subject to an A new island has been discovered. Hmm. That was fast. Is it an uninhabited island? Wow, we just see the whole landmass right away, eh? Now, can we build a giant bridge that connects our islands? Another new island has been discovered. Very interesting. Okay. Keep discovering those islands. I'm not going to stop you. Our farmers are coming through. Workers are coming through as well, but... Not nearly at the speed I need. Oh, we need... They want bread. You want bread. Okay. Okay. That can kind of be arranged. Unfortunately, bread is also a worker thing. So. So, we need to, uh... Do some... Do a couple of things here, right? Let's go ahead and put down some farmer residences. Right, let's get that done. Create more of a buffer, basically. So that when I go upgrading, it's not going to cause me too much trouble. Game safe. Thank you. Alright, so... Keep upgrading these. We're out of timber now, but... The farmer workforce is going to fill out. Yeah, look at look at how many people are just roaming around. I do really like it. I think it's really nice. I think it's really nice. Seeing the town like this. Can we close that? Yeah. Up with a lark this morning, I was. So alive. So, so like, vibrant. Just can't get over it. All right, good. We got a, the farmer workforce is growing again. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade you. All right, we're going center out, basically. We're going center out. This is going to take some time to fill out. This maybe was a bad idea. I'm wondering if I should destroy this clay pit. Right, and then we'll capitalize on it later. Because it needs what? It... Wow, it needs 50 workers. You know what? Yeah, I'm wondering if we get rid of this one. For now, right? We'll get it back later. Go ahead and get rid of it. Again, we got to get all of our resources back because it's the uh, easy mode. So we don't have to worry about little things like that, which uh, is part of the reason why I did this mode. Um, so with that done, we can actually get rid of two of these. And that'll help a lot. We're at negative 30 now. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade some more. On we go. There we go. Now, hopefully we get some more people coming through naturally, right? Without having to make worse. buildings. Oh, you're outside of reach of the market? So are you. No! Wait, oh, it's just because we don't have roads, I guess. Okay, let's do that. Hopefully that does the trick. Yeah, that does the trick. Just didn't have the road access. All right, cool. So they'll fill up. And we're, what, two upgrades away. But we need to get bread happening. And it needs... Okay, so this needs... 20 farmers, another 20 farmers, and then 50 workers. Okay. You can see... Well, I can't, I can't like, point to it, unfortunately. But you can see in the maintenance costs, the hammer is a worker and the uh, pitchfork is a farmer. So, let's go ahead and get some bread happening, and then we'll deal with the uh, population situation after that. This is our potato farm. Let's go ahead and put down a dirt road. Now you can build a shipyard and construct your own ships. Use them to trade, fight, and explore the world. The possibilities are endless. Alright. 
I'll uh, take that into consideration. Okay, so we can build a sailing shipyard. That is super expensive. So we'll probably wait on that. Wow, the construction cost is ridiculous. So we're definitely going to wait on that. And I just realized we're actually making money now. So that extra tax, I suppose. The workers pay more uh, more tax as well. So, hey, we're actually making money. I didn't think we'd be profitable this quickly. Feels good. Feels good. It feels very good. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I, I saw that tooltip already. Go ahead and put down... Go a little bit further and put down our farm so let's take a look at the bread production lines right go to regular speed so grain farm takes a minute to make grain and then it takes 30 seconds to make flour okay so oh okay that's a bottleneck but it takes a minute to make bread from the flour all right so we have one full grain farm which will mean one flour mill, which can supply two bakeries. That's how it worked for the uh, the clay, right? Double checking my math here. Because it was like 30 seconds to one minute. So you get two of the 30 seconds into the one minute, right? So two of the 30 seconds into the one minute. Okay, so we want... The other way around. Two of the one minute into the 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Confusing my own damn self. So we do want two bakeries or the one flour mill. Yeah. First though, let's get that grain farm down. I guess I could put you down over here. Have a very beautiful view, I suppose. Alright. And how big are you? 144. Damn, that's big. That's big. That's really big, actually. 128, that's 144 like that. That's 143. Okay, so I guess I'll do... I guess I'll do... That. 140. Oh. This is gonna safe. kill me. 144 is 12 by 12. Right, so... But I... A farm? We know fields. We do 12 by 12. That's what- that's this. Right. But... That's such a lot of wasted space though, it feels like. I feel like I could fit stuff elsewhere. Let's go ahead and put it down like this. Alright, so that's all of the, uh... Grain farm. Let's go ahead and get a flour mill. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm glad it fits, because otherwise I'd be a little annoyed. I'll be be honest. Okay. Can we rotate it otherwise? No. So this is the way it'll fit. Fair enough. Let's get one right down over here. And the bakery, again, we want two bakeries, can go down over here as well. But the warehouse is all the way down there. We want this to be farm and, uh, you know, like, mills and stuff. Got the schnapps happening over here. So you know what? Go ahead and get the bakery... Make sure that fire can yeah. go ahead and get the bakery two bakeries right over here and over here if I have my math right that should be that should be good takes a minute we get him over here takes 30 seconds we get one to this bakery it's another 30 seconds, we get one to this bakery, and they take a minute each. You may still cool. teach me of your, ways. your relationship with Princess Ching has improved over time. Why? What am I doing? You like bread, I guess? You like, I guess you like bread? Bread's delicious. Who doesn't like bread? Right, like, let's be honest, who doesn't like bread? Uh, ooh, Rindhoven is my town. I, I don't, I guess, I, I don't think I ever checked my town name. I can rename it, we can call it Partyhoven. Tempting, but we'll leave that for another time. Let's go ahead and get some structures built. We are running low on farmers. Still have access to the... Um, still have access to the market and stuff, so that's good. That'll hopefully fill out pretty quickly, but we do need more workers. We want to get the uh, upgrade stick out soon. 
lots of timber, lots of bricks as well. We might want to look at building the trade union sh soon. We can speed up the production here after all that time and effort we spent. Full Stone output storage. Oh, you can't reach the warehouse. You can't reach the warehouse. Oh, I should have checked that sooner. Go ahead and put one down over here. It's fine because we're, uh, remember, we are going to take advantage of these things as well. Just in case, let's go ahead and put down this road and this road. So we know to leave, uh, you know, to, to consider the space there. And let's get our small warehouse built. Oh, these sizes sometimes, they kill me. Got a small warehouse built where? Let's put it over here, right? So that should help this Bloody out significantly. Wow, we actually slowed our production down so much because of that. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll be fine. Let's go in with the upgrades. All right, get all these upgraded. We don't have enough timber for another upgrade, but I would like to get this one done. We'll get we'll get the other timber soon enough. But again, the uh, these numbers will improve very quickly because we have everything that uh, workers want, so they'll be moving in pretty quickly. I just don't like seeing this lack of symmetry here. A nap in the orchard. Get a, there we go. Boom. All right, that makes me a lot happier. I do like also how the um, the assets are sort of put down in a random rotation and it's a random selection of them as well so it doesn't feel you know i say that as i say that of course you we see two exactly the same side by side oh no they're not you see this one's got barrels and this one's got <laughs> crates Boom. we're good we're good i actually wonder how modular these assets are oh no these two are the exact same all right I take it back i was gonna say i like how it feels like they're actually random con uh, constructions as opposed to a little too organized that would feel you know un not so fitting Anyway, so the worker workforce is going to fill out, right? We're... Blunt my rage on. We got a... Whoa, buddy. I understand you want bread. I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. Let's just see here. Insufficient safe. workforce. That's the problem. That's the problem. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that easily. Get some more farmer residences. There we go. Why are you blueprint mode? Oh, he smells oh, I don't want blueprint mode. How the hell do I get out of blueprint mode? Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. So now I can go ahead and say, yes, build this build. Mmm, I like that. Okay, cool. Very cool. So I can blueprint out my whole city without spending any of the money. That's great. I wish I and I and now that I say that I remember it from uh, from when I was doing my research on this game. Cool. Well, hey, <laughs> there it is. And look at that. Our worker workforce is filling out. Our farmer workforce. That's a little bit on the low side, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll sort that out soon enough. And then we'll get this trade union done as well. I'll do ten of what a name be paying be artisan does a day. Money, bourgeois milk sops. Jeez. The attitude of of, those, of some of these people, I swear to God, like, come on, you could be a little bit more positive and you know get alongy. Go ahead and uh, put this one down. I think I need roads up here, because otherwise these guys are oops. Otherwise these guys are not going to have access to the market, but you should be good now. Yes, excellent. The market does. Oh, we actually are almost at the. Oh, that's the pub. <laughs> Yeah, that's party elite for you. Um, okay, so the market does go pretty far, actually. We are starting to get bread, finally. That's good. And that is exactly why... Wow, look at that worker workforce just skyrocket. And per Party Unlimited has a profile level of 5 now. Game time, an hour and 10 minutes. Well, I guess I've had the game booted for longer than I've been playing, I suppose. Next level is a global population of 850. We can get there. Wow, that is, that's actually quite nice to see that bump happen. And the bread continues to come. Soap. Ooh. We get to figure soap out next. All right, so that needs a pig farm. Oh, I'm so happy. I was, sorry. I really love complex um, production lines. And obviously, that's, you know, that's kind of... Anno does that. 
And that's why that's why it's one of my most anticipated games, right? Like it does these things so nicely. Like look at that, we need an iron mine, we need a charcoal kiln, uh, for which we need coal, so we gotta go ahead and find coal. We've got iron and coal over here, and that'll help us make um we need a furnace to make steel. And then steel works to make steel beams, so this is going to become a very dirty, dirty part of the uh, the of the town of our curious port town, uh, and that'll probably hurt our attractiveness a fair bit. We have culture, we have an ornament. Where do we have an ornament? I don't remember having an ornament. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'll take it. We found a lot of empty islands. Actually, where's our ship? Where are you? I'm sitting there doing nothing, looking pretty. Go back over here. Back to Rindhoven. Alright, let's see. Do we build that trade union? This trade union is probably a worker's thing, not a not a farmer's thing. These houses are not yet full. Once they fill up, we should be okay. And it'll probably just be a matter of time, because this is all perfect. Good. Good. I think it'll all work out. So I don't think we need to build more farmer houses. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, unionize, I suppose. So, a trade union. Masters of their craft improve nearby productivity from here. Alright, so let's... Expensive. 25 timber, actually, so we have to wait. Let's go ahead and speed time up until we get the 25 timber. And let's see our population. Yeah, it looks like our population is bumping up, so that's good. We're at 5, 7. So lovely to meet you, Ooh. dearie. But a word of it. Always watch your back. Okay, Beryl. Hey, Miss O'Mara. All right, so Beryl O'Mara is a self-made woman, though her methods are not what one might call conventional. She is a ruthless rival, but if you deal with her, you might find she's not without a heart. Okay, well, what, uh... Oh, reputation with you is 56. I wish to find a new kingdom here. Princess Ching asks for permission to settle another island. Are you... I can deny her this? We're getting along pretty well. Do I really want to deny that? No. Sure. This island is the earthly twin of Tian, the mighty heaven. I kind of regret Very opening this uh, this page up. Oh, she's a lot better than me. Beryl Omara is much better than me. Your economy is going to blow up as a result of... Um... Wait, refused. I thought I granted it. That's that's a that's got to be a bug, right? Again, it's a beta, so that's got to be. I, I'll check what I clicked in the in the playback, but I could have sworn I said approve. Oh well, it is what it is. But uh, this is Gretelwald. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you growing so quickly? Hmm. I need to work faster. I need to work faster, ladies and gentlemen. We have, um, steel beams are the foundation of industrialization. We need iron. Okay, I'll work on it. First of all, um, can I please just build this union? Put it down over here, I think. Because that will guarantee to cover both of these. And I'll put a little bit of space here for the roads. Put you down over here. Cool. And we're still in blueprint mode? Why the hell are we in blueprint mode? There we go. There must be a shortcut key that does that. Alright, so select your trade union and click on any slot. Choose which item you wish to employ. That would be the drill. So it affects quarries and oil wells. Rare promises to be kept. Thank you. Oh, we can do multiples. Oh. So I could have actually like put it over here to take advantage of these quarries. Ah, uh, goddamn. Alright, well, you know, you live and you learn. We can we can obviously move these, I think. Not gonna right-click to cancel that, but you, you, you live and you learn. We'll, we'll learn. Uh, and are... Are we seriously Bell waiting for... Things, I'll grant but for better, yeah, let's go ahead and worse. upgrade this, get this going. And that'll Refined fill out soon. Things. Again, we have all the uh, requirements, right? So that'll fill out soon, and our population will be completely sustainable. And then I guess we look to get soap going. Perhaps before we call it a session today, we build ourselves a little church here. A humble little church for which we don't actually have the resources. Yeah. 20 timber. Right next to the tavern. Now let's be honest, right? <laughs> let's be honest. You go to church, 
And where do you go after that? You go to the pub. But, you My know, you can't sin in, in front of, uh, you know, God's eyes, right? So we have this tree line over here. That was the plan all along. That's why these trees are down here. But um, that church, I suppose, we'll have to wait for another time. We'll wait until next session. As many of you will know, I like to keep these an hour long, typically. And uh, again, just want to mention, if you guys have enjoyed this and would like to see more... The best thing you can do is let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. Like I said before, my plan is to record multiple back-to-back -back episodes and then release them over the next, you know, several weeks, hopefully, maybe daily, maybe every other day. You let me know what you'd want um, so that we can watch while we wait for the game to release. It did get a delayed release date, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the playthrough. And again, feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, I want to mention a massive thanks to all of my uh, channel members. Now, let's get a better view here. Uh, uh, sure, let's do let's, let's, let's do that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. So I'd like to thank all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. It does really make a huge difference, keeping us alive and running smoothly. Uh, I want to thank you all as well, of course, for watching. Until next time, cheers.